In your own words, describe what your new film, I'm Thinking of Ending Things, is about. Um, it's about a young man and a young woman who are going on a road trip during a snowstorm to visit his parents who live in an isolated farmhouse. Um, he has, she's thinking of ending their relationship and he doesn't know. And um, that's kind of how it starts out. Um, when did you discover the novel and what drew you to adapting it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know dates. Um, I, I was looking for something to adapt and I read it and I thought it was, uh, you know, compelling and um, dreamy, which I liked, and it was small, so I thought maybe I could get financing for it. Uh, you went straight from finishing your own novel to writing this adaptation. Was it hard to keep them separate in your head? Um, I don't know if I kept them separate in my head. I, I, um, I mean, everything kind of blurs together in my head, so yeah, I mean, I didn't really, that wasn't really my goal to keep it separate. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know if there's much of a um, contamination from one to the other. I, I don't know. What drew you to Jesse and Jess as your leads? Um, they're really good actors. <laughs> That's, you know, they seem, they seem bright for the parts and they were, re they're really good actors and they're very nice people. And so, you know. Um, what prompted the Zemeckis credit for Red Line Diner? Um, we just stuck it in there as a placeholder because we were looking to put an end credit on that film and it was very funny to us. So we tried to get Zemeckis' permission, um, which he granted us and we were allowed to keep it. What was the hardest scene for you to shoot? Uh, the hardest scene to shoot was the, um, the, um, ice cream store scene because it was a night shoot. It was our third night shoot in a row. We were exhausted and it was pouring and our whole like setup behind the ice cream store um, was covered in mud. That was probably six inches deep. So um, it was just a really stressful night. Um, everybody was soaked. Everybody was distraught. We were trying to finish it before dawn came so that we could have the darkness around the ice cream place. It was a bad night. We got it done though. Is there any wrong way to interpret this film? No. Um, tell us about the ballet sequence at the end of the film. How did you go about filming the scene with Peter Walker? Um, you know, we, we hired him to do it and he cast um, the dancers and he choreographed it and um, I went to New York and watched it in the rehearsal hall and we talked about it and then um, then we came they came up to Middletown where we were shooting the high school and and we staged in the hallways and we made some adjustments based on the space that we were in and um, then we, we filmed it we filmed it with a set of cam so that the cameraman could sort of walk around the, um, the dancers and give it some fluidity.